Good morning, Spain. Welcome to day four. Today we're headed to the port of Spain. There's a uh, museum that we're going to tour today. And um, I don't know if we're going to be able to go up to the port like we usually do because of COVID restrictions out there. Um, it's kind of a security risk at the port. So, but anyway, I'm headed to Santa Justa, which is the train station here in Sevilla. And I'm on a walk. It's a pretty good walk, probably a 20 or 30 minute walk. I looked for a cab, but I could not find a cab. And none of these nice people will let me ride with them. So, you know, what the heck? I'm gonna be in good shape by the time I leave here. So I'll give you a shot of the train station when I get over there. the typical morning commute in Sevilla. You've got a, uh, on the sidewalk here, on the main drag, you have sidewalk for pedestrians. The green is for bikes. If you get hit in the bike lane, it's your fault. And a 90 year old fine if you get hit in the bike lane by a, by a bike. So they'll typically ring a bell before they run over you, but and every time you want to cross the street, you have to look for one of these crosswalks. And of course, wait for the little sign over there right over there, turn to escape the path without getting squished by a bus. So, and then uh, down, down this avenue here, uh, this way is to the train station. Okay, so I couldn't find a cab. So I, what we call in East Texas, I hoofed it over to the train station. This is Santa Justa, which is this train station comes right into the middle of Seville. And for most of our trips, when we take an excursion or today, like a visit to somewhat one, we'll take a bus. This is usually where we depart from. It's an easy central location and it's an easy place for buses to get in and out of. And so, uh, and before you depart, there's a McDonald's in the train station. So that's kind of handy to get a snack before you leave. So I'll show you the inside of the train station. So this is inside Santa Justa train station. There's your board that tells you about all their arrivals and departures, just like a, at the airport. Tells you which platform to go catch your train on. I say there's a McDonald's over there, but it looks like it's closed due to COVID or whatnot. We'll step down here on the platforms and show you what the trains look like. So the nice thing about train stations in most European cities, there's the trains way down there, you can see them. High speed trains. Is that the trains come in and out of the central part of the city. Whereas the airport is right on the outskirts of the city. You have a long you know, commute to get back to town. But the trains come out right in the middle of town. aqueducts that used to bring water to Sevilla as a ruin kind of in the middle of the street. So here we are at the um, the museum of the at the port of Seville and uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to be on camera and talk about uh, what you're going to see here because I'm giving the tour and I can't film myself giving the tour and so uh, but I'll put a bunch of pictures up here of uh, what what the students have seen through the through this museum and what what it looks like and so uh, enjoy a few shots of the inside of the museum of the Port of Seville. Here's some of the cranes that were unloading materials at the docks here in Sevilla that we're looking at. There's a really neat little museum some old boats and some replicas of the docks.
one's cool. This one's got a sun valve on it that won the 1912 Nobel Prize in Physics for the uh, sun valve right here that would turn the acetylene gas on and off automatically when the sun came out. Really cool, cool little museum. Okay, so I had my siesta today and now it's heading toward the end of the day. We're going out to uh, eat with a couple of students. We're going to uh, a little restaurant over here that's close to the center, the Texas Tech Center. And so uh, I'll give you a few, few shots of uh, what's for dinner in Spain tonight. Always an interesting thing before we send off. It's kind of a short day today. <laughs> I'm kind of bad about turning my camera on and filming sometimes. But anyway, for dinner, I had some salmon a la plancha, which is just grilled salmon. Why can't they just say grilled salmon? <laughs> anyway, end of a great day, day uh, day four. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of a short one, but that's okay. And um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.